hello Leo and welcome back to my channel and this is your reading for May 2022. Sorry it's a little bit late, it's just been a really busy hectic month so we're finally getting your reading out there. I'd just like to say a big thank you for all the likes and subscribes and the support that my channel receives every month, I'm always very grateful. Okay Leo, I asked what the month ahead holds for you. Well, six of cups, I thought that was going to be the ten for the minute because you had the Ten of Cups come out earlier, and you also have the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is about leading the way forward. It's about leader, it's about taking charge. And the Ten of Cups is a happy family situation. So for me, I feel around your private family life, Leo, you seem to be taking charge. You seem to be the one in the lead. You seem to be the one that everybody is following. So whether you're making decisions, whatever it is, you are taking the lead at the moment and everybody is following and that ten of cups just shows lovely happy family sort of situation going on at the moment there where you're sort of complete and you feel that you have everything there i'm going to have that wheel of fortune that's come out on top now also i will just want to say in the description below i'll put a link to my sister's channel mind's eye and inspiration she also releases monthly videos okay leo Let's pull some more cards for you and then we'll look deeper into your reading. So there has been some changes going on for you this month. And there has been a situation recently around you where you felt that you've been sort of shut out, left out in the cold a little bit. But that seems to be changing because we know you're leading the way. That's probably why you've suddenly taken charge. You've probably taken charge because you felt you were sort of outside of a situation and you wanted to get a little bit further closer in on that situation you can see this person here they're sort of sat outside they're not in the comfort there but um they do have support there with them so whatever the situation was you felt that you was out of it a bit but you are now taking the lead and so you will make sure that you are fully included whatever it is but not only are you fully included leo you're taking charge you're quite happy at the moment this situation shows like a settling down so things seem to be settling down for you and especially around family and friends and the seven of swords that's about taking, sevens are about taking a new approach. The seven of swords, um, you can see this person here leaving a situation. Now, swords can be arguments, they can be thoughts, okay? So perhaps you've also had some thoughts around you at the moment where you've had to change the way you think, okay? You've had to think differently about something and you're now leaving that situation. So you're feeling in a happier place now, we know, and the reason you're in a happier place is because you've taken charge of whatever negative thoughts that you had and you've now left them behind. The tide is turning for you, Leo, the wheel of fortune, okay? I always feel that's a positive card. When things go down, they come back up again. And we know they're coming back up again because look at this, you have the four of wands. Fours are stability and this card here shows that again, things are settling down, things are becoming stable for you. And this card here, the eight of wands, Wands can be work, they can be create creativity, and this is about getting yourself out there, spreading yourself further afield. So regarding work, Leo, you could quite possibly be expanding, going further. For some of you, it could even be going abroad. But you're definitely going through some sort of transformation. We've got the death card here. So something has ended and something new has started. There's some sort of new beginning for you, whether it's just in the way you think, whether it's just in your emotions, or whether it's another kind of ending, but there's been a definite change around you. And quite possibly, um, I feel quite a, a, you know, a big change. But again, you're quite happy. And three cups here, look at these people close together. So whatever this changes, it's brought you closer to somebody else, Leo. So what a lovely message there for you. I'm going to shuffle these cards. 
and we are going to pull another one. So, so far, we've got you leading the way, leading the way forward, taking charge, especially around family. We know that there's a settling down for you. We know you've probably changed the way you think and feel about something, and we know you've gone through a transition. And the card that's come out for you here, we want to clarify your reading, is judgment. And again, you can see someone there and you can see almost like the spirit energy coming out and moving forward. Judgment is a transformation. So again, with that death card where we said you've gone through some sort of transformation, here you are again, going through that transformation, moving forward going from one phase to another. So a definite change for you and a definite judgment. But again, I feel it's positive. I feel it's what you deserve. So lovely messages for you, Leo. A definite change and transformation. And this is um, your guardian angel message. So we've just pulled one out. Well, it actually jumped out as soon as I started shuffling. And you've got choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from obstacles that you're focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Well, we've already talked about changing your thoughts and um, leaving something behind. Again, it's those negative thoughts. So just be careful as you're moving through May, Leo, because even though we know you've gone through this transformation, even though we know you're changing your thoughts and you're settling down, they may negative thoughts may still creep in. So just stay on top of those negative thoughts. And choose your, you know, your way forward. Choose freedom. Choose not to go there, okay? So turn your negative thoughts away to a different path and envision endless possibilities that you can act upon. Because good things are there waiting for you, Leo. You're already moving on to good things. You've already got these good things around you. We can see that you've gone through some sort of change and you've got closer with somebody else. So just keep going in that direction. Okay, Leo. So these are general readings and they resonate with people in different ways. So for some of you, this may already resonate in your relationships. For some of you, it won't. So we've now got some love and relationship cards and I'm just going to pull a couple of those and we'll just get some messages regarding your relationship for May 2022. of messages for Leo for May 2022 and you've got trust Leo this situation is calling for you to have faith when you move forward and things change and we know you're becoming closer with other people you are a star sign that needs trust okay you really do need trust and you are a trusting person yourself and you've got engagement. Your life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So that same message again that we've already got through this reading, that whatever you're doing, you seem to be ascending to this closeness with somebody. Okay, Leo. So for those of you in a relationship, in some way your relationship has got closer, your commitment is getting stronger and whatever change that may be. And for those of you who are single, then hopefully if you start trusting Trust in yourself because you have to love and trust yourself before you can love other people. And then hopefully you can move forward to that loving, trusting relationship that you all deserve. Okay, Leo, I hope you have a good month. Sorry this is late. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.